God, I am starving. I can't believe she didn't serve anything at the wake. Well, the woman is grieving. All I'm saying is, funeral next door, beautiful cold cut platter. You folks decided? Yeah, I think so. Hey, by the way, go crazy, Doug's paying. No, that, that's okay, we'll split the check. No need, you're here. So Doug can put it on his expense account. Just make sure you guys talk about packages at some point, but not now. <laughs> okay, well, if IPS is paying, I will have the steak sandwich. Um, garden burger, please? <clears throat> Cheeseburger, medium. And for you, sir. Iced tea. That's it? That's all I want. Order something else, honey. A roll. <laughs> well, what are you doing? I'm not hungry. You are so hungry. I'm not hungry. Deacon, you're hungry, so just order something. I'm not hungry. I'm guessing the man's not hungry. <laughs> Nothing else, thanks. Uh, thank you. What is going on here? Deacon is a little upset because he wanted the promotion that Doug got. Oh, I didn't even think of that. So then you are hungry. I'm not hungry and everything's fine. Can we change the subject? Yeah, sure. Actually, he is more qualified. <laughs> What'd you say? Carrie, the man just said he wants to change the subject. Can we please not talk about the fact that we have the same seniority and he has a better on-time record, huh, please? <laughs> Would you knock it off? Tell her. Jeez. <laughs> Although, you know what? In, in her defense, you know, she's right. Maybe you should have the job instead of me. What? Y you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell O'Boyle tomorrow. Y you're in and I'm out. So you can tell O'Boyle whatever you want. I'm not taking the job. Deacon, if the man doesn't want the job. No, no, he wants the job. You want the job, right? Oh, yeah, I want it. But, you know, in all fairness, I think he should have it. Well, sorry, but I don't want it. He doesn't want it. Uh, yes, he does. He just said he doesn't want it. Trust me, he wants the job. Okay, Kel, I think I know what Deacon wants a little bit better than you do. <laughs> Deacon, you're taking the job. Well, I'm not going to do it. You, well, then, you know what? The trucks will be crashing into stuff because I'm not going to be supervising them. Neither will I. Okay, what is going on here? They just chose me because I'm the white guy. What? Is that true? I don't know. Look, man, don't try to pretend like you're doing something for me, all right? You're just trying to get rid of this job because you hate it. Is that true? I just want to drive. You know, I could keep the job. That's okay, honey. I mean, I could get used to it. I don't want you to have to get used to anything. I want you to be happy. And you're happy driving your truck. I know, but can't do that forever, and there's our future to think of. Well, then maybe you should keep the job. But I hate it. Okay, what do you want me to say? <laughs> that I should give up the job, that you're happy I'm giving up the job, and you want to be with me and another woman? You can give up the job. It's really, really okay with me. I love you. Thanks, I love you. Mm. What about the other thing? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get it right with me, we're bringing someone else. <laughs> How'd your first day go? Oh, fine, fine. It went well. Um, is this clock broken? 